He was diagnosed with Parkinson's nearly two decades ago and found relief by whittling wood into comfort birds here at the Senior Citizen Center. I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman here in Wapaka County, introducing Patrick Pelkey and sharing how he's overcoming his struggles while helping others. It kind of gives me just as good a feeling making it as to give it to somebody, knowing that it's helping them. New London native Patrick Pelkey meets with the Wapaka area woodcarvers every Wednesday to socialize and so much more. It's nice to get here every week and talk to everybody. You don't just talk about carving, everybody's talking about you know, things going on in their life, so it's really nice. Pelkey has been living with Parkinson's for 21 years, a brain disorder affecting his movement for the rest of his life. Just before my 50th birthday, and I just went out to my car and cried. I couldn't believe it, but uh, I didn't let it get to me, and don't let it get to you. Pelkey says he started attending Parkinson's support groups, learning how to live with the diagnosis, he says that's where he connected with another person with Parkinson's who told him about whittling wood to help reduce the tremors. Skeptical at first, Pelkey says he gave it a try, and voila, it worked. I never even knew I could do this until, you know, I had Parkinson's. So once I took it up and I found out it helps, I really like doing it. This one carves really nice. Pelkey says he started whittling wood into comfort birds and donating them to patients to raise awareness for Parkinson's all while easing his own symptoms. When I was first diagnosed, I was still working at the paper mill down in Nina, and it got to the point where I was shaking so bad that I couldn't hold on to my tools anymore. Today, Pelkey says he's carved more than 1,300 birds and donated nearly 900 of them, a good deed eventually getting the attention of the Michael J. Fox Foundation, where Pelkey was asked to travel to Washington, D.C. to speak with lawmakers about the disease. He says even though everyone's diagnosis and symptoms are different, he encourages newly diagnosed people not to give up hope. A lot of people just want to give up. Don't do that. Uh, stay as active as you possibly can. Uh, the more active you stay, the better it'll be. Pelkey tells me if you or someone you know is battling Parkinson's disease and you'd like to learn more or get involved, you can visit our websites at NBC26.com. Reporting for Wapaka County, McLeod Hageman, NBC26.